if you look at what is the potential for health span so in order to answer that, you have to first understand what is aging. So aging is every one of our 50 trillion cells that makes up this human body all has DNA inside, right? So DNA is this instruction manual that the cell reads to do work, like go be a kidney cell, go be a heart cell, go make hormones. Those are the instructions for all that stuff. It's that little book. So as that book, DNA, gets oxidized, wear and tear damaged, the cell that surrounds it also starts to experience that a little later. And then it starts to unravel. It doesn't have the same integrity of composition. So if that's aging, we know that your DNA has a protective bumper on either end called a telomere. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing that's meant to block the wear and tear and take the abuse. That telomere has been studied and proven to be designed as a structure to last 120 years. So the human form is supposed to survive 120 years. The, then you ask the question, well, why don't we get there? And if you have this American centric view, it's hard to answer the question because the average American gets their first chronic disease at 55, two by 65, last 15 years of their life are in treatment versus the places in the world where the majority of people just die of old age. The top 15 reasons why people die in the United States are all rooted in inflammation, their yeah. disease. So go outside and look more like this outside the United States. You'll see it's a very different story. People get old, frail, and they die. So why do I say this? Because before we start asking, what do I add? Which is the American yeah. culture thing. What do I remove? That's mm -hmm. taking that God-given right of 120 away. 